Bye. Thanks for watching. We're gonna go ahead and get started in just a couple minutes. We'll wait to see if a few more people tune in. Good morning. Thanks for watching. Hugo, thanks for watching, guys. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Katie Gore, and I am a backyard summer camp staff member here at New Hampshire Audubon. I'm coming uh, to you live today from the Massabesic Center, and I have some cockroaches to share with you, and I'm also here to answer any questions that you all might have about our backyard summer camp program that we're running through our center, or through the New Hampshire Audubon this summer. So I will go ahead and get started with our cockroaches. Uh, we have here at the Master Music Center, uh, Madagascar Hissing Cockroaches, um, which you can tell I'm sure by the name that they're not native um, to New Hampshire. They are actually um, found in the wild, in uh, obviously in Madagascar. Um, you can tell by their name. <laughs> Good morning, Chelsea. Thanks for watching. All right, so I am going to pop over here and show you to get our camera turned around. Here this morning, we have a male and a female cockroach. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. We'll turn around the camera just a second while we get that set up. And the difference between a male and a female Madagascar hissing cockroach is you can tell, and you'll be able to tell when I show them to you, is that the males have big horns on their back um, and the females do not. So this guy over here in the corner is the male. You can see his two horns and you can see that the female, she has uh, two little bumps, but they're not as pronounced as the male. So what kind of questions do you guys have about these cool critters? Let's see if I can get our female so you can see her up close. Do they really hiss? Oh, you guys missed it. Yes, they do hiss. Uh, she is crawling all around. Let's see if I can lift her up to the camera. There she is. They do really hiss. They have, let's see if I can get a close up, but they have these um, holes on their back called spiracles, and that is where they hiss from. And that, they use that as a protection in the wild. Um, they use it to allure mates, um, but also the sound, it sounds like a snake. And um, so in the wild, it helps keep them safe from their predators, the hissing sound. Uh, let's see, what do they eat? Jake and Sophia wanna know. Thank you guys for watching. Well, here at the center and in the wild, um, they eat fruit. Uh, these guys are found in the jungles of Madagascar. Um, they eat fruit and other um, that has fallen from the tree and other plants and sometimes even um, animal debris. Um, and they're known as decomposers because they uh, break down things that have fallen or things that have um, died. Does anything eat them? Yes, that's a great question. There are lots of um, things that eat them. Uh, I, 
honestly, at the top of my head, I can't think of something specific, but I can definitely get back to you about that. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see if I can get a close up. How old do they live to be? Great question. They have a lifespan about uh, two to five years old. Um, and they can grow between uh, two to three inches long. Let's see if I can get a close up for you guys. This is our female. It looks like, oh, it looks like that is her head but that is actually not her head. Her head is underneath. Let's see if you can see, that is her head right there. Let's see, any other questions? I'm gonna put her down. Hi, thank you for watching. So I am here to answer any questions that you have about our hissing cockroaches or our backyard summer camp, which we're really excited about this year. Hi, Amanda. How fast can they go? Winnie, that's a great question. You know, I don't actually have the answer to that question, but I can look that up and get it back, get back to you. Do they lay eggs? Oh, these are great questions. The cool thing about the Madagascar hissing cockroaches is that they actually appear to give um, live birth. And that's because the mother hissing cockroaches um, have an egg sac. And once it's fertilized, it goes back into her body. And then the eggs... Um, develop and then they give birth. So it looks like she's giving live birth. That's a great question. Hi, Amanda. Do they live in trees or on the ground? That's a great question. They live on the ground primarily. Ah, very cool stuff. Thank you guys for tuning in. Do all, uh, do all cockroaches do that live birthing? No, it's just uh, Madagascar hissing cockroaches, as far as I'm aware. How many young? Great question. They can give up to birth up to 60 nymphs. Are they loyal mates? That's also a great question. I am not quite sure about that but I will get back to you on that. How do you tell between male and female? Great question. I am going to show you so that you can see them. Uh, this is the female and this is the male. The primary difference is that the male has um, horns or what appear to be horns, these two large horns over here. And the females, they may have a bump or two bumps, but they are not as pronounced. Great questions, guys. I'm excited that you all are here tuning in. Let's see. Do they live in colonies? Good question. Um, as far as I know, yes, is the answer to that question. Do they sing like cicadas do? They do not. They hiss, and it's actually not coming out of their mouths. Um, it comes out of sphericals on their back. And yeah, they hiss to um, protect themselves from predators and also um, for mating. Do they, uh, I wonder if they take naps, take naps like children. That is a great question. I mean, they are nocturnal animals, so that most of them are sleeping right now. <laughs> How do you not scream every time you see them? You know what? This is a great question, Betsy. 
I uh, started working for the New Hampshire Audubon at summer camp about six years ago, I believe it is now. And when I first started working here, yes. I was very scared about the um, cockroaches, but they are so neat and it you just, you have to learn to enjoy the beautiful things in nature and uh, they're just so cool. So I, I conquered my fear, I'm here, we're holding them. Jake would like to know if these two have names. They do not have names. We try um, not to give our animal ambassadors here at the New Hampshire Audubon names because they are living creatures. Um, some of them have acquired names over the years or they were pets that were donated, donated to us um, for learning purposes. So they may have come with a name, but these guys are just our Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Let's see, do cockroaches fight? Great question. You know, I have never seen our cockroaches fight. That doesn't mean it, ha it doesn't happen. I believe in the wild, it does happen um, oh, over uh, territorial males um, during mating time. Do they bite? Great question. They do not bite. Um, their mouths are not big enough to bite us. Do they molt? Very good question. They do molt. Um, I tried to find a cockroach that had just molted. Um, after they molt their exoskeleton, they are all white, but I couldn't find any this morning to show you all. How many Madagascar hissing cockroaches do you have? That is a great question. I truly don't know the answer to that because we have quite a few. Do they leave behind a shed skin as they molt? Yes. Mm -hmm. They molt their exoskeleton. What other animals are cockroaches related to from Sophia? Sophia, that's a great question. I am not quite sure the answer to that question though, so I'll have to get back to you. Oh, Amanda says hundreds. So yes, we have hundreds of cockroaches. Are they sensitive to light? Good question. I don't know exactly the scientific answer to that, but I do know that uh, they are sensitive to um, the presence of people. Um, and I can definitely get back to you about being sensitive to light. Uh, this morning when I went to get our friends for a presentation, uh, they screwed all about when I came around. So, do they eat their young? As far as I know, no. Also, y'all, if you have any answers to the questions that people have that I might not know the answer to, go ahead and answer those for people. Help them out. Do they have ears? Not like we do as people, no. What other questions do you have about our cockroaches or maybe backyard summer camp? Can they hear? Great question, Charlotte. Thanks for tuning in. Is there summer camp this year? I'd love more info. Yes, there is summer camp this year. Uh, not in the traditional manner that you would grow have grown accustomed to um, at the Massabesic Center and the McLean Center, uh, but we will be having backyard summer camp and that will be um, an internet format. We have a great team of um, summer camp counselors and naturalists who are creating materials for that. Um, so you can sign up for that on our website. Can we see them again? They are cute. Yes, I will show you. Just joining, can you show them again? Yes, and are they friendly? Yes, they are, but again, they are real creatures, real living creatures, so. But these guys are friendly. There they are. How cute. They're just being pretty 
chill today. We have the male in this corner, um, as you can tell by the horns, and the female is behind the male. <laughs> Some people keep them as pets, just saying. That is true. What do you feed these captive roaches? Just fruit. Uh, we do feed them fruit. And Amanda, I bet you could answer this better than I can. I believe there is something else besides fruit that we feed them. All right, very cool. What else? Any other questions you have? What ages do backyard summer camp? Very good. That's a great question, Darcy. Thanks. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, our ages for backyard summer camp are ages 4 to 12. So we have um, our wonders, our discovery age kids, and then our explorer age kids. Oh, Amanda, thank you. Cynthia, uh, these roaches eat fruit, veggies, and prepared insect powder. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been really fun. Thank you guys for your great questions. I'm sorry if I didn't have the answer right away, but I'll definitely get back to you on that. Oh, thanks for the love, Kaylee. Thanks, Darcy. Thanks for tuning in. You had some great questions. All right, well, I will um, head out in a couple minutes, but if you guys have any final questions about our animals or about our cockroaches that we had today, or our backyard summer camp. Oh, Amanda says they will eat leftover produce scraps from turtle feedings or produce that isn't quite as fresh anymore. Very cool, thanks Amanda. Oh, it's all witty and Hugo, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, any other questions about our backyard uh, summer camp program or our cockroach animal ambassadors we have today? Also, if you're interested um, for more information about our virtual summer camp, uh, we have information here on our Facebook pages um, as well as on our website. For camp, will you be presenting anything at the lake about loons or anything? That's a great question, Darcy. Yes, we'll be doing all kinds of presentations. Um, the really cool thing about our uh, backyard summer camp this year is that we will have presentations from naturalists all over the state. So it won't just be um, local to our Massabesic Center or our McLean Center. Um, we'll have a naturalist from our Newfound Center and um, I don't know specifically about loons, but there will definitely be animal pre live animal presentations um, like this one here, or um, like the ones you've seen Shelby do, uh, and also from uh, different critters in other parts of the state as well. So that's a great question. All right. Well, I'm going to give you one last look at our friend today. Yes, a virtual escape. That is very true. I'm really excited about it, and I know our team is excited as well. Uh, it's definitely going to be different than what we have when we're here in person, but it's equally as awesome, and we have some really talented and knowledgeable people that will be able uh, to help you and your families guide you through summer camp. So... We're really excited. So we're gonna say one last goodbye. And then I am going to go ahead and sign off. 
thank you all for coming to watch today. Um, again, if you're interested in more information about our virtual summer camp, um, please feel free to check out our website. We're really excited about it. Uh, we're definitely going to miss our in-person summer camps this year, but we have something so cool for you. Uh, thanks, Amanda. That my assistants were very well behaved. Yes, they were. Yeah, they're great assistants. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.